you guys may notice the three cars in front of me and I'm just going to be telling you about each individual one that's the T4.2 factory team SC10 4x4 and my new old T4.1 highly upgraded though uh, so don't let the RTR body get you uh, fooled it is a great truck I have done many a thing to this and I'm just going to be giving you the what's what and what happened over Father's Day weekend figured I'd just start out with something you guys are a little more familiar with this is my SC10 4x4 you can see the J concept stickers and you may rec look and see the new tires um, I got these this past week they're J concepts hazard uh, wheels plus three millimeter offset to give it a little wider stance try and show you a little bit more they were really tucked in probably right about there before just a little bit but it does make a difference these are wrapped up in J Concepts gold compound barcodes this is the soft compound uh, I was able to hang out the track this weekend with my dad and the truck run really good you can see it's a little beat up because I'm not that great of a driver but sorry guys uh, uh, overall the truck ran pretty good uh, only mi very few minor issues uh, one was the motor screw mounts actually loosened up a little and ended up pulling the pinion away from the spur gear it luckily it didn't strip it out I just had to go in there and tighten those back up and get it respaced uh, but other than that the truck ran good motor temps was right around uh, 140 after a full pack on the track uh, ESC never got over a hundred I'm running a spectrum let's see SR301 receiver that's hooked up to my low C uh, 2.4 gigahertz remote I had this sitting up in my closet I actually forgot about it it's actually a spectrum remote or spectrum technology so it works with the receiver um, but I took all those stickers off and replaced them with RC10.com stickers, which I'll be talking about quite a bit later. Uh, the truck ran pretty good. Uh, no complaints. I just had to adjust the shocks a little, take a little preload out of them. And the truck ran great. The belt tension was good. Uh, really fast. Nice. The belt drive system is really quiet. Uh, but other than that, the truck was great and I really like it so uh, move on to the T4's you guys are probably wondering about right right about now once again here's my dad's T4.2 factory team team associated stadium truck and this is my highly upgraded RTR uh, T4.1 stadium truck and this on this is a J Concepts Punisher body painted up really nice by uh, the guy he got it from this is the RTR body that I've taken Sharpie to, did the lights, outlined all the black around the green used to be silver, and the wing back there is actually clear, but I have electrical tape on the back to make it pop a little more, plus it was cracked to about here, straight across. So uh, this was actually on this truck, but I stole it, fixed it up, put it on mine, and cut out a brand new wing for this truck. You can see there, no scratches, that's why you can hardly see it. Uh, before I pop the lids on these, uh, just want to talk about the tires. These are Proline Suburbs in the Super Soft Compound. Both sides. Uh, rear, these are Panthers in the Green Compound. Uh, I'm not sure which one, they feel pretty soft. So, I'm going to have to say, uh, these are just a kind of a soft compound. Uh, the On the front of this, I have low C taper pins. and uh, yellow compound I believe it is and on the rear J Concepts barcodes and the uh, gold compound very soft on the rims I have uh, rc10.com stickers uh, and bumpers I have a RPM a cut RPM bumper it was a wide bumper but it cracked so I ended up cutting it to make it smaller so I don't have to pick up a new one just a stock bumper that you can it's not really a bumper at all it's just a little thin piece of plastic but Okay, pop the hood on T4.2. Now with the body out of the way, I can really show you what th this truck is made of. Uh, up there, the blue, you can, that's a factory team hinge pin brace. Um, factory team titanium turnbuckles with RPM rod ends. These are the factory team big bore shocks. 
Very body adjustable, really nice. I haven't had a chance to use these shocks ever, but seem like they perform pretty well. You can see in there the blues, the factory team uh, bell cranks, hooked up to a, a high tech servo with a with the factory team blue servo mounts. Behind that is the fac factory team uh, uh, carbon fiber battery strap with the blue aluminum uh, thumb pins quarter ounce of weight in each side. Over there is a waterproof receiver box housing is SR301 Spectrum receiver which is hooked up to his Spectrum uh, DX3C. Uh, Castle Creations Sidewinder SCT uh, ESC. One that I am very familiar with. Have a, had a couple systems. Hooked up to a 3800 Castle SCT 4 pole motor. Got the Carbon factory team shock towers, uh, front and rear. Also has the blue factory team aluminum motor plate. Got the clear motor cover, which is nice. So it gives you a good view of that VTS slipper clutch. Um, that's pretty much it for this truck, guys. Uh, give you a little comparison by popping the hood on my T4.1. One thing I did forget to note was the um, straight A arms on my dad's truck. You can see these are gold winged arms. Uh, these are from the T4.2. Uh, I was able to get these from my dad's spare part kit. He he liked the straight arms better, so I was able. He gave me the .2 shock tower and arms. Give them a try. I figured I've got the titanium blue turnbuckles with also with RPM rod ends. Got the hinge pin brace from Factory Team. Also in there behind that, you can see the J Concepts uh, aluminum bulkhead, just to give it a little more weight up front. Uh, I noticed he was having an issue with steering, so I wanted to get as much weight up there as possible. Uh, I got the J Concepts uh, turn, not turnbuckles, but the uh, belt cranks in there. Also have the Factory Team uh, servo mounts. Behind that, I have just the plastic battery strap, don't have the carbon fiber. Uh, I've got the aluminum thumb pins, and there's no receiver in here because I'm actually going to be putting Velcro in my SC10 and this, and just switching the Spectrum out so I can just want, run it off that remote until I can afford to buy a separate remote for this truck. I've got the Dynamite censored 13.5 limit uh, ESC in here, it's a Platinum. Uh, I was able to get hooked up to my Reedy 17.5 Mach 2 censored brushless motor. Uh, good combo. It seems to be running okay. I have the carbon front uh, chassis brace. Rear chassis brace you can actually see back here where that uh, it's right below this uh, rod end. That's the ball stud that it's attached to. Right, What that is attached to is the rear um, chassis brace which is shaved down. It usually sits up about an eighth of an inch higher and I shave that down. It uh, gives it a little more rear traction. Got the stock aluminum motor plate. I'm probably going to be going with Avid RC or Factory Team RPM uh, motor cover. And one thing also I forgot to note was that these uh, bearing carriers in here are plastic on mine. My dad does have the Factory Team aluminum ones. Um, but as far as shocks go, I have this RTR the blue aluminum shocks I'm very familiar with. Um, be hoping to go with uh, maybe some .2 shocks here in the future. I also have a quarter ounce, quarter ounce of weight on both sides. Um, ounce and a half in the rear left. Another quarter ounce in the rear right. Our rear right is a one ounce. Rear left is a uh, quarter ounce. I'm probably going to be having to switch that around a little, considering my ESC weighs less than it did before. But other than that, guys, 